Hello listeners, this is Adur from Paranormal Stories. Hopefully you guys liked my last videos. If you like my last videos, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe my channel. If you have any experience, any story, you can share it with me by email. My email address is in the description box and also you will find it in the screen. Today episode is about a suicidal man. This story is sent by Mr. Majid. Majid lived in a small village. I'm going to tell you the story as Majid said to me. Think that I am Mr. Majid. Let's start today's story. I live in a village. The village is near a small town. It's a quite a small village. In my village, there is a popular, there is a popular story, and it's true. This story is known by everybody. This story I collected from my grandmother. The story is about a man. His name is Malik. Malik is a very poor man. And his father and mother also died. You can call he is orphan. Only he had he had a land and a house, a small land. He was so poor he went to Dhaka for some work. But after passing three years he came back he came back to his Village. He and then he married to a woman. His o his wife was so pretty and good. He, her behavior is very good. He used to he used to he used to call the fashion paddy in his land. This is not enough for his and his wife. So he loaned he loaned so much money from many people. After cutting the paddy he tried to solve his all loans. But he was unhappy. He didn't have any child. For this reason, the villagers always shy. He make him shy. One day he want to bought a big land, so he so he take a loan from many people and buy the land. But in this season, he didn't make any profit. So his loan was so much but he don't have any money the people used to embarrass him people used to force him for this reason he always went out from house and go go anywhere to spend his time He can do anything. His loan was so much he cannot do any work. He was so upset. His wife always tell him, "Don't be upset. Work hard. You will be succeed one day." Then there was a man. The man is so. Drunk, always 
is too drunk. That drunk man do bad thing to his wife. Though he is a in debit and this news was viral by everyone his wife was raped she was so he was so embarrassed one day he told his wife don't worry everything will be everything will be okay with some time in that night he told his wife i need to go somewhere keep the door closed when i will come i will call you then you open the door but in that night he didn't come his wife was so worried about her husband where is he where he is doing right now when the sun rise his wife was try to finding him he went to the jungle he was, there was a little jungle he went to the jungle he saw something is hanging in that big tree when he went there he saw her, he see saw her husband was hanging in there he committed suicide then he called villagers she, uh, she was so worried she called all the villagers she so worried what she will be doing now all the villagers was so upset and also angry with him because he is in debit no one didn't put the dead body down the dead body was hanging till afternoon then a society servant came and put the dead body down and told his wife grave it as soon as possible but one thing happened the villagers said that we did not we do not want to grave this body dead body to our cemetery she request a lot but no one help him then the social servant decide to grave this body under the tree they dig a grave and grave it the woman his wife was so upset was so upset she when when is she taking rest she for a sleep her brother was with her in that night nothing happy seven days has been passed she and her brother was living together her brother was used to uh, use the land and for the, from the land he makes some money but after passing seven days she was she was sitting and watching some watching some things and making some goods in that time it was like nine o'clock in that time he heard a footstep in her yard a footstep of a man in her yard so he decided to watch she decided to watch she watch and she saw nothing in that night when she went to sleep went to his bed for sleep she heard a noise she heard a sound she heard her husband was calling her she was scared now because her husband was already dead she didn't care and next time her husband was calling her name and ordered him 
to way to the yard. She now decided to watch what is this. She was from the window. She saw a black shadow was running and walking in her yard. When she opened the door, she saw her husband was standing in there and saying to her, I am not happy. I am facing a problem. Went to my grave and he vanished. When she saw this, she shouted and her brother came and her brother came. When her brother touched her shoulder, then he fell down. Another morning, he told her brother everything her she saw that night. Her brother said that it will be your dream, it will be your imagination. Don't worry. Take a deep breath. Nothing has happened. He is dead. He is no more alive right now. Two days has been passed. After second night, in second night, he hear she hear some noise. Her husband was calling her. This time, his brother with her, him, her, his brother also heard this. She opened the door and saw and saw his husband dead body was up from the grave and in that body there was no head and no finger then she saw a black shadow a black entity was in the grave and with a big knife that entity cut his husband body in two pieces when she saw this she fell down but the matter of fact is when he woke up when she woke up she saw another story she saw she heard she heard her brother was telling her what happened to you last night you ran away to that grave and want to dig it you dig the grave with your hand and then throw a mat to me then I then I was so scared that I saw a black shadow was behind the grave and that shadow was your husband then I then you felt asleep I bring you to home when she heard this she was scared after that day the villagers also seen him seen the dead body seen Abdul Malik some of his story has been faced like one day a man was went to a market for buying some goods for his family it was almost midnight he went to his home with a bag of goods he saw no one is in the road he was only one he when he passing through the jungle he felt scared because he heard lots of story many of people being scared in this area 
he was so little bit scared then he saw a man is working with a pack of goats he went there and told that man hey man wait let's go together i feel little bit scared that man said to him yes this place is little bit scary with spooky place let's go together malik dead grave is in here right that man said yes how did you know oh, i know malik he is my good friend i have something to give him so that's why i am i am going to his house and i will give this back to his wife because this is belongs to malik do you know what is it the man was very anxious and said yeah what is it then that man that man put his hand in the bag and bring malik hate and that head was loving carter head was loving to him he was so scared and ran away this was this story was told by all villagers and all villagers are feeling scared they didn't come out if they had important they came out at night the rumor was every village that malik named malik karin jin is searching people and and make fever sick then one day one day malik nephew was came to uh, came to the palace from malaysia he was he was went to a to the market for buying some goods and coming at night o'clock and nine o'clock in the village he with the rickshaw puller with the rickshaw he saw malik was standing he put malik and said to malik uncle why you are here at in this night do you do you have any work malik said no i don't have any work i used to stay in here at night you can call it's my habit then he offered his uncle it's mean offered a malik entity a uh, apple but malik said in my world i didn't eat it go go to home don't work alone at night this village is haunted then another day, then that day malik nephew told his mother i saw malik uncle at night the mother said what you are seeing are you fool malik is already dead this was a little this story many people feel scared when they came to that land at night this thing was happening the villagers want solution that's why they called a priest man a wise man and then the wise man after taking his prayer of asia he came to the grave and he stayed in there more than 45 minutes then he came and said to all the villagers this is a big problem this is a big problem i will solve it tomorrow but i need some strong people with me to go to the another village for a work the work is in another village there is a black magician he cut malik head that black magician cut this dead body head and finger and he want to do black magic with these materials we need to bring the head and fingers and then 
Gurevit. This problem will be solved. The another day, the wise man, the priest, came to the village with some strong people and told the black magician give all the things. But this time, the mad magician, the black magician said, "I don't have anything. I don't do this bad thing." He forced him. Then the priest man forced him. People forced him, but he said. Do you have any proof that I have done this work? Then the first man said, Yes, I have proof. What happened if that entity you call the identity to bring these materials, the head and finger, if I told the if I order the entity to cut your head right now, what will be happen? Are you allowed? This, are you allowed to me to do this? Then the black major is scared and said, "Yes, I have it." Then the villagers went to his house and under his bed he dig a hole and all the parts, head and fingers, are in there. They bring it to the village and once again they grave it. And this problem has solved. This problem has solved. This was the story. Hopefully you guys like this story. If you like this story, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe my channel. Hit the bell icon for another update. Thank you.